What is up you lovely lot? We're back again with another two pound coin hunt. We're trying hard to finish this collection. Let's have a quick look at what we still need. And if you've been watching, you'll know it's still that Commonwealth Games England. Very, very scarce. Not as scarce as the Northern Ireland that we have managed to find. Um, but other than that, we've got every other two pound that you can find in your change, or the ones that you're at least supposed to find. And we've had the ball for quite a while now, so hopefully we can find this England soon and then maybe start ourselves a new book. We've got some nice condition ones there for a date run. We're gonna sort that out very soon as well. Um, a couple of minor errors and our page of fakery at the back there. Now, after the last two bags, all the comments said, oh, the next one can only get better. It can only be better, which probably is true, but we have a, la uh, a land, a bag, from Bungleland, Stockton on Tees. So, ugh, I don't know, this could be one of Bungle and Lady M's bags that they've hunted and then cashed in. I hope not. <laughs> the upside, if it is, is there might be one of their two pound coins with one of their stickers on it. So, maybe that's all we'll find in it, we shall see. I'm sure there's a few post offices in Stockton on Tees, so maybe it's nothing to do with them at all, but going to find out here hopefully we can actually find something because if you watch the last two pound hunt we done two big 500 pound bags and found absolutely nothing apart from one turkish lira absolutely scammed well there's something spotted that straight away place your bets could be anything because it's from up there Oh, but it is <laughs> the one that we see the most of. It's the Shakespeare histories. Very common. And we banked a load of them. Is this going to be another one straight away after? No, it's comedies. Awesome. That we definitely love to find. We do not find many comedies at all. Four or five max we found all in all. So that is a great keeper in my opinion. And there's Charles Darwin, the man and the animal. Not a bad little find, just under 4 million mintage. Uh, but it's not one that we keep. Well, that was a decent first bag. Probably safe to say this isn't a, a bungle of Lady M cash in. Let's keep going. There's an Act of Union. Another pretty common one. And a DNA double helix. This is one that we like to keep if it's in nice condition. And that one's not too bad, you know. So we'll probably pop that down the bottom. Keep that as well. It's not over face value, but it's just a design I really like. I think it might be over face value one day. Here we go, here's another new Jodie Clark portrait. That's another histories. And a Trivific steam locomotive to finish that bag. Lots of finds, wow. Another pretty cool design, the uh, the steam locomotive, but unfortunately, pretty high mintage. Keep on rolling. The very shiny 2014 there. We'll pop that to the side. I think 2014, we've probably already got a very nice one, but we will double check. There's an 1807 abolition of the slave trade, 200 year anniversary. It's another pretty common one that you'll see fairly often if you're checking your two pound coins. All right, let's keep rolling. It's been good so far. Hopefully it can continue and you never know. Commonwealth England might be hiding in there. We can dream, right? There's another act of union. 300 years of the union between England and Scotland. There's another Jodie Clark portrait. Ah, oh, there we go. We've got the full set. All three <laughs> already. Only four or five bags in. But of course, with the um, tragedies, we do have to check the edge inscription. And this is the correct one. What a piece of work is a man. Of course, there is the error one knocking around, which we haven't found yet. We'll pop that next to history, shall we? And we'll start a second row of common ones because I've not left myself much space here. In truth, I wasn't anticipating on finding much. So this is very good. Let's keep going. So another Jodie Clark portrait. 
and it's another tragedies. Again, what piece of work is a man? We will find that error one day, I hope. <laughs> they can't be very numerous because the amount of tragedies I've seen, and I'm yet to find one. There's another act of union. Three of those already. There's another Shakespeare histories. And as usual, I will of course have a close look through all of the coins again after the hunt. Check for any die rotations, any little minor errors, anything I might have missed during the hunt. There's a grubby JC portrait there. Oh, there's a great fire of London and it look like, looks like it's been in the fire. <laughs> What's happened to that? Oh, such a shame, such a great coin. Um, but yeah, seen better days, unfortunately. A little bit of a die chip on the Queen's head there. A little bit of extra metal. Um, yeah, we'll pop it down here. It's certainly a keeper. Unfortunately, it's in a pretty sorry state, but did we look at the rest of these? I've lost my way now, because that caught me off guard, that. Such a shame when a, a great coin is in terrible condition. Keep going. There's Charles Dickens. Another pretty common one though. And there's another. That's not bad condition 2013. Not perfect though. But there's another. Oh. Shakespeare comedies. I think that's probably the most we've ever found in one hunt, two in one hunt. We just do not find these down here. So over the moon to pick up a few of those for the collection. More bags from Stockton on Tees, please. <laughs> I mean, it could well be a bungle bag still because I know they get a lot of... Uh, They get a lot of the Shakespeare set up there, so perhaps they don't keep them all. But I'm sure Bunga would have a go at cleaning that, so yeah, perhaps not a bungle bag. Alright, nothing in that one. Let's keep going. What's it gonna be? Yeah, there we go. Oh, still got a bit of a mark there up there, though. But another great fire of London. That might come off with a little bit of gentle persuasion. We'll have a go. Ooh. There's a fake flying out at us. Oh dear, 2011 fake. Not the worst portraits, are they? I mean, it's not great, but compared to some of them that you see, actually resembles the correct one somewhat. But yeah, definite fake there. What else have we got that's flying out of this bag? There's a shiny 2014 again. No, that's the one that was there. <laughs> what donut. That's what happens when you drop coins. That was one I already put to one side earlier, wasn't it? All right, let's keep going. It's quite a long two pound hunt, actually, because we've been finding quite a few. There's Guy Fawkes, or the Gunpowder Plot, 400 year anniversary. Another really common one, though. All right, come on now. Commonwealth England, finish this book off. Oh, but there's a lovely find, a Mary Rose. We don't find many of those. Excellent stuff. 
much better than our last two pound hunt. You guys were certainly correct. <laughs> it could only get better. Awesome. We don't find many Mary Rose either. It's a very scarce coin, I think. Underrated. But again, it's not in the best condition. We've got that bit of a mark on the right hand side. A bit of a shame. There's Florence Nightingale. Great design, but really common. And there's another Shakespeare Histories. Plenty of Shakespeare today. There's another, and another. <laughs> Double Histories. To me, the mintage on them just seems iffy, you know. Find way, way more histories than either of the other two. I know probably the other two are designs that perhaps stand out a bit more and you're more likely to keep if you find it, even if you're not a collector. There's Brunel's Arches, or Brunel's Achievements. And there's the VE Day Anniversary. Took us a while to find that one. That usually pops up pretty early on as the most common one of the lot. All right, a few more bags there. A few more chances at this Commonwealth. And there's another Jester. Awesome, another Shakespeare comedies. We don't mind that at all. Three for the hunt. Definitely the most we've ever found in a hunt. There's Marconi's Transatlantic Wireless Transmission. And there's another VE Day Anniversary. All right, five more bags, last 100 pounds. There's a shiny one. Could it be a die rotation technologies? Or could have been, it's not though. The 2015. And there's another Shakespeare Tragedies, and it's another shot at the edge inscription error. Come on. No. Piece of work. We keep looking. We keep looking. <laughs> and there's Brunel's portrait. Lots of variety in the hunt today as well now. Lots of different coins. And still four bags to go. Come on. There's another Histories. Twenty fifteen. Three more bags. Two more bags. <laughs> Another shiny 2015. That one's okay. <laughs> gotta look for them, guys. You gotta look for them. So many different degrees of rotation I've found on the 2015. There's a couple in here to finish this off by the look of it. There's the Army Centenary 2016. Really, really common one that though. Surprised this took us till now to find it. That's a nice condition one. For a Charles Dickens, not bad at all. And that is our lot, unfortunately. Not a sniff of a Commonwealth. We did find a few keepers. We love to find the Shakespeare comedies. They will go in the stash for sure. Very scarce round here. We'll keep the DNA double helix. We'll keep the Great Fire of London that's been in a fire. We'll have a go at giving it a bit of a, bit of a gentle wash, seeing what that does, but I'm not hopeful to be honest, but we'll have a go. And we've got another Great Fire with another bit of dirt on it. And then, unfortunately, even our Mary Rose find. 
got a bit of dirt on it as well down there so we'll have a little bit of a go at cleaning it up obviously you shouldn't really clean coins too much a little bit of water and a, and a cloth or something and we'll have a go but do not wipe too hard that's the main thing found a 2014 nice condition i'm pretty sure we've already got one of those but we'll have a double check and then what two pound coin hunt is complete without a fake there we go drop us a thumbs up let's see if we can get 50 thumbs up leave us a comment down in the comments subscribe if you're not subscribed and i'll see you soon for some more coiny goodness take care everyone all the best